What's going on guys, my name is Sam Wiki and this is Going Nuclear. Today I have a pistol only nuclear gameplay using the Beasley TAC-45, playing some multi-team hardpoint on Plaza. I'm using the usual score streaks, UAV, counter UAV, and VSAT, and I'm playing with one of my buddies, and we just kind of pooped on the other two teams. And it's kind of weird saying this, but I think I'm really going to miss this game type. So far, there hasn't been anything saying that multi-team is going to be in Call of Duty Ghosts, and I have actually really come to like this game game type which is kind of funny for me to say because I didn't play multi-team at, at all for like the first six months of Black Ops 2 but when I did start playing multi-team I found out that it is really a fun game type and it's great for getting nuclears and now with less than about three weeks until Call of Duty Ghost comes out I probably have just as much time if not more time played on multi-team than any of the other game types like Kill Confirmed or Domination or Free For All Demolition, whatever. So I'm going to miss Multi Team. Hopefully Infinity Ward adds it into Ghost or maybe adds it later down the road. And at this point, I'm so excited for Ghost that playing Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2 just kind of leaves me wanting more. And it's just a weird time of year for us Call of Duty fans. I've been playing mostly Modern Warfare 3 lately, but unfortunately, like I said, it's just not doing it for me like Call of Duty used to, simply because I'm just so excited for Ghost. And also, there isn't a ton of people playing Modern Warfare 3 right now, and it doesn't seem like there's a huge amount of people wanting to see Modern Warfare 3 videos on YouTube. I'm thinking that the Modern Warfare 3 interest will grow as we get closer to Ghosts, which by the way, I started a new series called Preparing for Ghosts where I show some entertaining Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and talk about transitioning back into the Infinity Ward play style of Call of Duty and I talk about uh, ghosts and all that good stuff. The first couple of episodes have gotten some great feedback But they also didn't get quite as many views as the rest of my videos that I post So I just kind of wanted to promote this new series a bit I'm very proud of it, and I think you guys would really enjoy it So go check it out if you missed them I'll put a link in the description to that series and I, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it So I haven't talked much about this gameplay, but like I said the attack is an absolute beast in this game Really all the pistols in Black Ops 2 are good in Ghost, the pistols don't seem to be as powerful comparatively as the pistols in Black Ops 2, but I haven't really played the game, obviously, and I haven't seen a whole lot of footage of pistols in uh, Call of Duty Ghost, so it's going to be interesting to see how good they are. If you think about it, in Black Ops 2, the pistols cost just as much as a primary weapon in the in the 10-point creator class system, so it kind of makes sense that they would be pretty good in this game. But I'm not sure I'm a fan of pistols being more effective than some primary weapons in a Call of Duty game. But hey, let me know what you guys think about pistols in Black Ops 2 and what you want to see of pistols in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now in Ghosts, the creative class system is a bit different than in Black Ops 2. Basically, you have a set amount of points to spend on your perks, and additionally, you can take off your pistol and your equipment to give you an extra point each to add to your perks. So in Black Ops 2, a pistol is worth the same as a primary gun or a perk or a piece of equipment, but in Ghost, a pistol is basically worth just one point in a system where some perks are actually worth five points. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how pistols work in Call of Duty Ghosts. And then carrying on with the class setup info for Ghosts, you're going to have a primary weapon and two attachments to include in your class for free, which to me seems awesome. I like having the freedom to set up my class how I want, but what I noticed with Black Ops 2 is that the 10-point creator class system made the game kind of less skill based in a way and it added a large amount of chance because you know you can only counter so many things in one single class setup and there's so many different variety of classes and, and things that other players can use so like I said it just added a, a large amount of chance and took away from kind of a skill based game in my opinion but hey that's just my thoughts if you have anything to add to really anything that I talked about in this video go ahead and drop a comment down below I want to thank you guys for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed if you did, blow up that like button. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Roll out.